My name is Paul Ganey, I'm a member of the under-21 uh, Kerry team. Uh, this year I'm from Dingle. It was a not very, very nice uh, accolade to get. I was very proud of, proud of it, I suppose. I don't get too many men in the matches, to be honest. Um, but no, I was delighted with it. Um, I was very happy and I, I was delighted that Cabri's came in to sponsor because you know, they made a good job of this under-21 championship, to be honest. You know. In the semi-final against Waterford, uh, down in Dungarvan, uh, we ran away with it in the end, really. You know, we were going well at the time. Uh, we, put, we were putting up big scores. We put up a big score against Cork and then a big score against Waterford again. Uh, I scored 1-5 and uh, you know, I, was happy, I was happy with my performance. So. A few elements went against us. You know, in Tipperary, well up for it. They were well drilled by John Evans. Um, you know, we, we just can't put our finger on it. We've had chats about it since and we... We just we don't know like we just, we just next year now we we, we uh, focus 100% into every game and we get it right hopefully. <laughs> I think the under 21 championships invaluable really. I think you know, there was talks about it being scrapped. I don't think there's no way they should do that really because minors is kind of it's like a it's kind of a progression. It's kind of an introduction to inter county football, but under 21s is bridging the gap between minors and seniors. So in my own, my own uh, case, I got a run into seniors there after, after the under 21 championship, and I, I wouldn't have got that chance unless the under 21s was there. You know? So it's definitely a, a big factor, for, especially in Kerry, where the standards are so high in, in club football, and it's hard to pick out a few fellas. So it gives you the, the opportunity to shine on the county level, and it's a high standard, very high standard. You know? It's surreal, really, you know, seeing, seeing all these players and you're playing against them in club games at the weekends. And uh, you know, there's an amount of all earned medals around you and all stars and anywhere, everywhere you look. You know, there's players of the best, best quality. And uh, you know, the under 21s is kind of it just gives you that opportunity to say, yes, I am here, and you know, I, I'm doing, I'm doing my bit, and give me a chance. You know, so I think it's good in that aspect. We have good, good back starters, Peter Crowley, Jonathan Lyne, Padre O'Connor. Uh, Padre O'Connor is in with the seniors. He's, um, he's going to be a good player now for the future. There's Johnny Buckley in midfield, solid. He, he'll definitely be you know, one to look out for. And then with Barry John Keane in the forwards, he's, he's likely to, to start maybe on Sunday against Cork. So you know, he's one definitely to keep the eyes on. <laughs> Not much really, to be honest. It's all GA and my family and my son. So, um, yeah, you know, we've we've uh, soccer as well and rugby and stuff back there, and just you know, just the yeah, bit of this and that. But it's GA all the way. I think. The young player of the year this year is possibly my own teammate Barry John Keane, if he breaks into the senior team. Um, this year, there's uh, maybe. Um, uh, Michael Murphy again I'd say maybe Johnny he's, he's, he's going well if, if Donegal can stay in the championship he, he'd definitely get the chance or Leo McLoon uh, he, he played well the last day as always you know. I think we started off dodgy in the, the league but I think uh, definitely Division 1 this year I hope we, we'll win that and uh, county Championship maybe it's, it's, a, it's a bit off maybe but if we work towards that you know we set up ourselves nicely for next year and the future we've got a young team here. <laughs>